Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. In this video, I'm going to take a look at using the date value function um, in Excel. How does the date value function work? Well, it takes a single argument. It takes a date, but really importantly, as text. So, for example, quotes, because I'm going to kind of force text in this particular case, the 4th of July. 2013, which of course, as you can see, is the actual uh, order date in text in the cell to the left that I'll be using shortly in uh, a much more complex way. But let's just go with this for the moment. Return or enter. Okay, so what that formula does do is return a number that represents the date. It's a date number, effectively. If I just control and one on that particular cell, format cells, dialog box, double click date, and I can see very, very clearly indeed that this is, as far as Excel is concerned, it's a proper date. It's something I can use ultimately, maybe some kind of pivot table analysis. So, all well and good. Simple introduction to the date value function. But what about doing something quite a bit more complex? I'm just going to start from scratch. Okay, so yes, I am going to use the date value function, but I need the 04 from the middle of H2, I need the July on the left, and I need the 2013 on the right, for example. So I'm going to use a variety of different text or string functions. Check out my various other videos to see exactly how these work in um, more detail. So it's that piece of text in H2. Uh, comma separate, I'm going to use as the start number, I'm going to use the find function to get Excel to find the space in that particular cell. That particular cell of course is H2. But I need to go one further than what the find function is going to return. Comma, I need two characters, 04, 05, 13, 14, 15 and so on. Close off my brackets there for the mid function and then along comes a bit of concatenation using the ampersand. Now I need to work with the uh, month, so July, August and so on. On the left side of that particular cell, again I'm going to use the find function to kind of track down for me exactly where the space is in that particular cell E10. But that would give me one too many, yeah? So I'm going to subtract one. So I want one less than, again, what the find function returns. I will then close off my brackets and a bit more concatenation. The final bit I want is the YYYY, the 2013, the 2014, and so on, which of course are on the right of the cell. Which cell? H2, comma, 4. I can be a little bit naughty, perhaps not best practice in the world, putting hard-coded numbers, of course, in a formula. I'm going to assume, for the purposes of this particular illustration, that that's absolutely fine. Close off my brackets for the right function. Close off my brackets to kind of finish off the date value, and then return or enter. There's that integer that represents the date for that particular piece of text, yeah, the date number effectively. I'll format it, control and one, double click date, and then double click the fill handle to fill it all the way down through to the bottom of my column of data in there. Let me just scroll across to it, click on it, press F2, and there we go. A nice combination of text functions, which are classically used, of course, to clean or tidy up data. Um, the mid function, the left function, the right function, all three of the classic extraction functions, if you like, in Excel as far as text or string functions are concerned, an ampersand, and then finally the date value function. That's it from me, Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Do search for my various other YouTube videos. Take care, and bye-bye.